Hello everybody, this is Dr. Reverend Janine Marie. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I just wanted to do a video for you today and just tell you that I'm very grateful. It's such a great honor to be accepted into your space. It just really is. I like to constantly tell you that and remind you of that, that when you come and you listen to me, it is a big deal to me. You are a big deal. You really are. And oops, that was my water bottle. <laughs> you really are. And I so appreciate you. I am so grateful for you. In fact, gratitude is a power and I cannot emphasize that enough. And I do it often, you'll notice in my videos, especially recently, being grateful for this life is something that's so powerful. It brings and draws so many more things to be grateful for. It is something that is healing, empowering. It, it brings grace into your life. It's better than thinking about the difficult things and it really helps you get through those difficult things. Now, sometimes we can't help it because we have things that arise up in our lives and they come to the surface and they're meant to do that they challenge us and usually it comes because of our interaction with other people and it just sparks something or maybe a moment that we might suddenly think about in the past these things are not random they come to you for a reason and they're meant to heal you for you to take the opportunity to bring healing into your life number one Forgive yourself. Forgive others. You know, forgiveness is first and foremost and primarily for your benefit. So, you know, if you're pushing away forgiving certain people who have harmed you in your life or you have felt have harmed you, then what you're doing is you're denying yourself of the healing that you really do deserve in this life. So forgive other people for some of their trespasses because, you know, without forgiveness in life and forgiving others, you're not going to forgive yourself and you're not going to receive forgiveness as well. You'll notice when you begin to forgive and you begin to be grateful, you draw a lot of that energy towards you and you'll begin to see the beauty of the synchronicities that begin to you know, come into your life to guide you. They're meant there to come to you in order to guide you through the process of healing and getting to the next part of your life. We're always in a state of flux. Nothing is always the same, to quote, sort of, sort of quote Plato. But we're always changing. We're always in a spirit of transformation and in a spirit of becoming. And I just can't tell you that enough. Remember when you're going through a rough patch, gratitude, forgiveness, and grace. Mm, power words for you. And, you know, I'll, I'll keep telling you until you actually believe me. If you need to, take your phone and record it in your own voice. The I am statements. I am grateful for this. I am grateful for that. I forgive myself for certain things and just put it in a nice stream, a nice um, maybe meditation if you want to do that, or just a recording that has all of the things that you can think about or think, you know, that really need to be addressed and listen to that every single day. If you need just a little bit of a push and a reminder and you'll come to realize it starts to become a habit over time and you won't need the recordings anymore. You'll just automatically wake up and you'll notice that when the really difficult patches come, those things will get you through. They really will. I went through that this weekend. Sometimes I need to be quiet. It was a Mother's Day weekend. I have two children who are in spirit now. They're very difficult um, moments sometimes when I, you know, have to think about that. And, you know, I love them. So my heart really misses them. So being a little quiet, going a little bit within myself in this nice protective bubble and integrating some gratitude and thinking about some of the good memories really helped get me through. And so that's just an example. You, you have your own. 
but I do have some services that are available to you if you need things that assist you along the way. One is energy healing, either traditional Yasui Reiki or just energy healing in and of itself because there are so many different facets of energy healing now and so many different ways that energy healing is presented. Remember, you are energy as much as you are everything else. I mean, you have energy that um, actually helps your body and your life every single day function. We cannot live without energy. We live and breathe because of it. We can't live without air. We can't live without energy. We have to have it. And energy helps us align. It helps us to heal. It helps us to actually illuminate things into our lives. There is a energy within consciousness. So you can have a lot of things that will be illuminated into your life just during an energy healing session. So you know what? Give it a try. I offer energy healing locally here within my area. And yes, in this office, I do have more than a corner. I know it looks different than that, but I do have more than a corner. It is an office. And um, if you want to contact me and just find out more about it, please let me know, not just your name, but go into some details so I know what you're looking for. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But I also offer hypnosis for healing, for changing some of your habits that you might want to get rid of in your life or bringing up some of the things that you might not be aware of. So, you know, we can go through some regression hypnosis and we can regress into your childhood. I like to regress you to a nice, beautiful time that you can remember some of the lovely times in your childhood. And sometimes when you balance that and make it more powerful than some of the more difficult times, it makes it easier for you to bring out some of the hard things that you need to take a look at and heal and forgive, you know. And I like to also do past life regression, and that's not for everybody. I do realize that not everyone wants that, but a lot of you do. So when you do want that, I can provide hypnosis here locally as well, and also by a Zoom call and sometimes just by the telephone or FaceTime. So you can inquire about those as well. I am a spiritual coach, and I offer a lot of attraction and spirituality coaching as far as metaphysics and what we are in spirit and your consciousness. You know, I go into a lot of different things. I am a PhD. I am a doctor of spiritual counseling psychology, and I love to utilize all of my education and a lot of my life education as well. And there's a lot of wisdom that comes with living this life. And I'm not saying by any means I am the end all to all of your solutions for your problems. But you know what? I've seen so many people come to some new realizations in their lives and some transformation from just bringing up some of the hurts that they have had buried deep within the surface and dealing with them, forgiving them, being grateful for having gone through the process and the power that comes from that portion or part of love, because all of those things are a part of love. It is so very healing and so very gratifying. So I can't not even think of a better job to have in this life it is my purpose, it's my passion, it's my love to help you transform to the next facet of your purpose and the next facet of your life. I just want to tell you that I love you so much from here. Blessings to you. Namaste. And I hope to hear from you very, very soon. Until then, bye-bye.